Hi guys, welcome back. Crutch is here, and today we'll be making yeah. As you guys saw, we'll be making a basketball net, but it has a little twist to it. Today's habit is care for yourself, and we'll be talking more about it later in the video. So, the materials you're gonna need for this craft are pipe cleaners, these things, cardboard, bigger pieces of cardboard than this, um, some scissors, be very careful, tape, a water bottle, water bottle cap, or something that looks similar to this, and a lot of popsicle sticks. Let's get started. Lead on, lead on, lead on, because our more is to take your cardboard piece and then we're going to cut it in half and we're going to love it. So we have our two pieces and for the base we can either take the bigger one or if it's the same size the same one so now you're going to grab your tape and you're going to make sure that your base is stuck to your flat surface I'm going to tape it all here so it's going to look something like this that your base is flat and stuck onto your surface, you're gonna grab your popsicle stick. And your popsicle stick is gonna be holding up the backboard of your basketball net. So you're gonna use your tape again and you're gonna circle it around to make sure it's stuck to your base so it doesn't fall. Because we don't want our basketball net falling. Okay. So now we have something looking like this, okay? Now that we have our popsicle stick stuck on the base, we're gonna grab our backboard. I think my backboard's a little too big for this, so I'm gonna cut it a little more. Okay, right, nice. And we're gonna tape our backboard to our popsicle stick. Gonna cut some tape up in advance. Okay, so now we have our backboard done. Grab your pipe cleaners and circle them around like this. Twist the ends around to make a circle. And then we can add either another pipe cleaner and the same thing, we wrap it around. And then we attach it to our net. Now that we have our basketball net set up, we're gonna add some challenge for us. So we're gonna grab about six or seven popsicle sticks, or a few popsicle sticks, as many as you have. And then you're gonna tape them together on both ends. So now, so now we have both sides done. Now we're gonna grab two more popsicle sticks and we're gonna put them on top of each other again, but this time we're only gonna tape the bottom part. that we have our two different popsicle sticks. We're gonna put the two, the two pieced popsicle stick. We're gonna open it. So since the bottom's on the tape, we can open the top and we're gonna slide it through the seven. So it's gonna look something like this. We can tape this part to the table. So now we have all of this done. Our final step, is going to be you're going to wrap some tape and if you have a plastic water bottle cap okay tape and we can tape this to the top of our catapult now we have our catapult so the next step is if you have a little ball or maybe a coin like this you can put it in your water bottle cap you can make sure everything is aimed properly. Basketball net, ball. And you're gonna pull back your catapult and you're gonna launch it and try to get it in the net. I didn't do it this time, that's okay. You can try again, you can, grab, you can grab another coin or another small object, put it back in the water bottle cap, make sure everything is well adjusted and then pull back and try again. Man, this is really hard. 
I'm trying to get this coin into this basketball net. I've been trying. I've been trying for so long. But you know, I'm going to keep trying new ways. I'm never going to stop learning new techniques that could help me move my catapult to make sure that my coin gets into the basketball net. Maybe adjust the net a little so it's not falling. Or just simply just thinking of new creative ways of how I can get my coin into the basketball net. But even so, maybe I'm getting a little tired from doing it a lot. I think we should all do some exercise to help clear our heads, maybe run around, or maybe taking a good nap, because I know I get really sleepy when I do something over and over again. Or maybe a good snack, or have a lunch. Because these things are all ways that you can care for yourself, treating yourself so you can relax, after focusing on something for so long. I hope you guys can bring your basketball and your your catapult to your next Zoom call. And maybe you can share with your group how many times you were able to get your object into the basketball hoop in one minute. Thank you everyone. I hope you had a great time doing this craft with me and we'll see you next week. Bye.